A lot of people got baited. They were upset. This is not the solo leveling killer! Song Jin Woo would kill these people by saying arise! I know that I know and I'm I'm just I'm just baiting. I'm engagement farming. I don't think it is, but I think this might be better than Tokyo Revengers. I've only seen one episode of it, not gonna lie, but people are making that comparisons too. Maybe I should have went with that bait. I don't know, it still worked out fantastic for me. Episode 1 did well, but you guys gonna keep watching throughout the next couple episodes? Let's find out today. Is it the Omurai's place again? What? Wait, you don't want to help the elderly get here? If he was truly a dick, he would simply just fucking drop the granny on the ground. But he's not. He's a tsundere. He wants to be a good. <laughs> Fuck you, boomer! Get off me! She did a fucking anime main character entrance drop. <laughs> okay. Cap. Lion Granny. What if Granny's better at fighting than us? Oh, look at that blush again. <laughs> this is the asana to our kitty took. It's good. He's gonna be meeting his uh, new friends, right? The new fooding senpais? There actually are. The opening, even last episode, they were hinting on new designs. He's a fooding boy. Nide. Bro's got a fucking the, the medium tag on his fucking collar, bro. But his thing is like clumsy, ditzy, but I bet when he gets serious, it's like, whoa, oh my god, get Mue! <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> hey, the tag is still there, yeah? <laughs> nah, this guy's probably OD, bro. <laughs> Don't get baited. Don't get baited when he gets serious, bro. Mm -mm. Yes. It's cool. Bald! No, he's not bald, but basically what he's saying. You're so stressed. You're only like 14 and you've gone white, bro. Oh my god, what's wrong with your life? <laughs> it's better than an insult. <laughs> Even though he's kind of indirectly insulting. Hello, Nire. Sakura. He wants to fight people. <laughs> Yo, that's a girl! Yo, we got delinquent girls here. She's the tallest. She's one of the tallest ones. These better be actual fucking, you know, um, people that we're gonna see, bro. So this guy, I think, is the garden guy we seen in the opening, right? Because it's, I, I think it's pretty, because they mentioned last episode, don't let, you know, you know who find out, right? Because this guy in the opening, it's the same hair, it's all down, and he looks so happy, and he's like, oh, look at my little plants, I'm just watering. But when it's serious time, slicks back here, fucking, it's time to go. So these are the fooding boys, huh? <laughs> Sounds great. Because he doesn't really give a fuck about the people here. He only came here to start shit with some strong people to prove that he's strong, right? Ignored. Damn. Look at the ego, bro. You got to have the main character ego, though. I'm gonna be the pirate king! Bald! <laughs> he cares about us. He cares about us in a funny way. In the flex? Three rounds of patrol? I don't know how to feel about this guy. He seems like way too eager and giddy to be here. He did three rounds of patrol in the morning before even going to school for the first time. I don't know, like... Are we getting set up? No, there's no like death flags. People are not gonna actually die in this show, right? Oh, 
正義の味方だったらもっとかっこよくいるべきだろ。Kind of true. あらコーヒーおかわりいる服のことじゃねえよ。Personality? ああやって見た目ばかりことこの。We're getting baited. ずいぶん勝手に決めつけるじゃない。そう。メーサクラコーヒーの実の色。コーヒーフルーコーヒーフルーツ。あった。Bean, but, 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 but where, does the, where does the beans come from? Where, where, how, do, how do bean beans, bean, bean, beans are beanstalk? Fruit? Coffee? My, my, my entire perception of what's real and wrong is being broke. There's a, there's a coffee fruit? Coffee. Yeah, I would assume it's just brown because the beans are brown. What? No shot. C coffee fruit. Oh my god. What? So inside these things, anatomy of a coffee cherry, outer skin, pulp, and then this is the beans. So the beans are green in the. What? 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 I never, I never asked where the beans came from. What? 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 I think he would be. He's like a rookie in our first, like a freshman year, so he's, he might be even like Sakura's rival. For free? Okay, okay, they actually care. I'm like, is this a scam? But no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, people love the Bofurin because we protect them. <laughs> He's blushing. <laughs> this is actually so sweet. Okay, it's, it's, it's broad daylight. It's like the morning, bro. It's like a Tuesday fucking afternoon. You're day drinking based, based. Shaved head! We got so much free shit. We got so much free shit. I mean, you know, back in the day, right? And even right now in Japan, doesn't the Yakuza pretty much have like a tax, like a protection tax so that, or even the cartels in like Mexico and other places, these gang members basically offer protection. You have to pay like a tax and they offer you protection. But like, you know, at the end of the day, like who are they protecting themselves from? Probably the same people that's imposing this monopoly and violence thing. Oh, you got to give the money so that we can protect you. It'd be so sad, you know, if your shop was to be burnt down tomorrow, right? But here it's like, the tax is like, they want to give us to, right? It's like the delinquents are not really the Yakuza, but they kind of operate in a similar way. They, they, the really wholesome ones over like protect the community, right? Do what's right. And the people will love you, in the, you know, in advance. What about her? You wanna... They already are looking at you like that. What's going on? Oh, it's that kid! Bro, you can't fight? Okay. Maybe. He doesn't give up. He's brave. But he can't fight for shit is what he is. <laughs> this is straight up like a uh, fuck. What's his name in One Punch Man? Um, bicycle crash. Um, the fuck. You know the hero Mumen Rider. What's his English translation? What's his English translation? I know Mumen Rider is pretty much a Japanese way, but it's like the 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 bi the bicyclist of justice. You know, he's like super weak. And he has no place to be trying to fight these monsters. But like, he puts himself out there even though he knows he's gonna die. Like, the heart of a hero, right? <laughs> it's her mantra, it's her mantra. You gotta do the purging though. Can you purge? <laughs> 
Oh, oh suplex, suplex. <laughs> I don't care if you're a windbreaker or windstorm. Okay, so windbreaker is the jacket, right? People are like, I said this last episode. What the fuck is a windbreaker other than the piece of clothing? Like the jacket is a windbreaker. <laughs> Sakura! <laughs> Flying jump kick again. Let's go. Cause you're weak as fuck, dude. You're gonna die. Yeah, he can. You missed last episode, huh? Literally off screen. Literally off screen. They were not worth the fighting animation. Actually, blink of an eye. Now they're fucking trolling with us. It's like, yeah, we skipped the fight in the blink of an eye, right? <laughs> I am a little disappointed. I thought he'd be super strong or something, but acting like a klutz. It's not like I wanted to save you or anything. Baka. People keep saying Takemichi 2.0. Takemichi is a guy from, I'm assuming, uh, the Tokyo Revengers, right? So you're saying this this yellow hair guy is like Takemichi? I've only seen one episode. I forget who the fuck he is. Man, that must be so infuriating if the main character is fucking this kid. Thank God we have Sakura. Like, at, like he's just so fucking strong already. Could you imagine if we had, you know, someone like him as a main character? That would be so fucking frustrating. Go for believe. Oh. Okay. His hair from the back. Remember that hairstyle? Okay, maybe we're gonna meet him in the senpais, right? But he was inspired by the Bofurin senpai that saved us. I thought you wanted to protect people. You just want to be strong and awesome? Bro is trauma dumping. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. That's right. He's weak, but he didn't chicken out. I bet Sakura would like ex I respect that. <laughs> Blushing. You're, not, you're probably not so lame, you know. Yaoi? No, not Yaoi. I don't know. Is there Yaoi in this show? There's a lot of delinquents. Oh. Yeah, we did all the fucking work. What do you mean? We did all the fucking No, he saved her first. He saved her first. Sakura son. Tall girl with the big ass! What the fuck? He likes taking a little diary. You want to know how big his dick is, limp and fucking, you know, erect? Huh? 169 centimeters tall. That's actually pretty short. That's like, what? Like, 5 foot 6? 169? To give a crop, crop the crotch and see like, oh, he's a, he's a, you know, 2 inches flaccid, but potentially has the... You know, 6.5. <laughs> mm, you forgot the most important measurement. <laughs> How tall am I? I'm 510. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I think we got a good friend. I think I, 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 I like this guy. Sakura, Sakura, Sakura. It's so beautiful, but there's so much graffiti. Whose voice actor is that? That sounds so fucking familiar. Gojo Satoru's voice? Is it? Maybe? Hollow purple. There's a lot of crows. It looks, it's like no maintenance. Holy fuck. It looks like an abandoned school. Waku Waku. Oh my god. Waku Waku. Okay. Nice. Same class. We're like best friends. 
Who are all these people? All new first years? You know them? No! I just stalk them and have a fucking journal diary of details. I know them better than they know themselves, but I haven't met them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna start shit immediately. We're gonna start shit immediately. No smile. Let him know who the alpha of the class is. Outsider. I wonder. Would they? Because like last episode, they helped us. But then again, it was more for the community. I don't know. Because we already fought on behalf of the community, they will accept us. Harmless? No, we're trying to take number one spot here. Warming up for intros. Yeah, don't care. We're going for number one. Great. Then he'll fight them all. And he'll climb to the top because that's what his goal is, right? Maybe he'll get humbled. Maybe there'll be somebody that actually fucks him up immediately. That dumbbell guy, bro. The f is that the guy that saved? I'm not sure. But that dumbbell guy, he's no, he wasn't. He was doing dumbbell curls all fucking episode last time, and now he's just doing fucking pull-ups on the window. Baldies? They're too young. No baldies. Yo, it's the eye patch guy again. Gamer? Bro's phone case is a literal glizzy. What in the fuck? Yo, that would be the worst fucking phone case to have. Cause like, you know the whole point of having phone cases where it's like you put a something over here, right? It's so that it can like stand by itself and balance. The glizzy in the middle, it's gonna fucking wobble. That's terrible design, but cool design. Oh, this guy seems like the important guy. Look at him. Bro straight up looks like a fucking demon slayer, bro. Look at him. Look at the earring. Not completely sunbearing even, but look at him. That could, it's, it's fucking, it's fucking Levi. Demon slayer Levi delinquent. <gasps> He's got an eye patch and everything. Copyright? No, you no shot your parents called you Leonardo. <laughs> I am a, your biggest <laughs> fan. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Why does a high school student have a fucking eye patch, bro? What is this fucking Zaraki Kenpachi from Bleach if he removed? Is he fucking, is the eye patch like sealing his powers? Like what is he gonna do? Remove the fucking eye patch and he gets stronger? What the fuck happened? <laughs> He is Chuni! By the way, this iPad seals away in an ancient Chinese spirit into my right eye. But what if it's not Chuni? Because, like, I don't really know what kind of show this is. I understand it's delinquent fights, but, like, are we gonna have some, like, unreal, like, magical fights along the way where Bro literally gets a fucking Chinese spirit fighting along with him? I don't fucking know. <laughs> he just corked the fuck up. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately forgets about the other kid. <laughs> Goes to Sakura immediately. <laughs> yeah, he was there last episode, yeah? Spall tips. Wonder if they're an important game. My man, Sakura! <laughs> Yo, are they all just gonna start glazing and just meat riding him now? Grandma! There's no way his grandma is the grandma that was giving the piggyback ride, right? That's a different grandma, right? Imagine it's the same fucking grandma. Why are you acting so chummy? We're trying to fight! Nice! He will too. He. Captain? Kaizoku ah. Ori! Yeah. Alright, he's done his workout. Bro took his head <laughs> Who did that? You. 
You wanna fight? <laughs> this guy's kinda yo, remember class in the elite? Who is Arisu's uh, uh kinda looks like a Ryu, but it kinda reminded me of a you're right, it's more like Ryu. And I was gonna say Arisu's, you know, like right hand man other than Hashimoto, but you're right. It's missing the deep V cleavage. Kyotaro. Let's get it. Don't slip under me! Okay, the fight's still going. But he's tall as fuck, dude. Post credit scene? Not really post credit. But they do a little chibi moment at the end. You scared me. Yeah, what do we do with all the free food? Okay. That's the episode, though. Hey, episode two, more setup. But we got introduced to a new character. He's kind of dumb. Klutz. Bad. But he's got the hero's heart, right? Even though he can't fight just yet, he's got what it takes to become a bofrin. He just gotta become stronger. Nice to see all the neighbors, the, you know, the community members just like, you know, showing so much love to Sakura. And every time something happens, he just starts blushing. It's like, it's not like I was trying to protect you or anything. So that's really funny. Dude, bro, like all these new characters, they're pretty exciting. And you can kind of tell who are the important ones, right? They just have a lot more detail into it. Like, look at Suo versus, like, some of the other people in her fucking class. Like, these guys are straight-up NPC jobbers. But, like, if there's colored hair, if there's some little bit more detail put on them, they're, like, pretty important. It's really interesting to see also how the delinquent, you know, genre, you would expect all of them to be fucking shit talkers and just try to start shit, but it's so wholesome. Bofurin is not really what you're expecting, right? So there is a little bit of a twist in how much respect they show for others if you protect the community. In the, in the core of their, you know, whatever they believe in, there's a very nice message. It's like, you know, be nice to other people, right? It's like, you know, protect the community. But then there's mad dogs like here. We got fucking Doragon Boy showing up. He's big. I don't know why he's already starting to try sh like start shit. I don't think I remember him. This is the first time we're meeting him. He's fucking mad. I don't know why, but we'll find that out next time. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.